what's in this bag just may be better than drywall tape. And I'm going to tell you what it is and how to use this coming up next. Hi everybody, I'm Leah of CJ Drill and if this is your first time here, can I just say welcome to you. We're a home improvement channel where beginners are welcome here as well. Now in the beginning of the video I held up this black bag and I said, well, it could be better than drywall tape. There's a viewer who watches CJ Drill, he's a drywaller, his name is Mike Lingle. He invented this product and he was telling me about it and I said, hey Mike, listen, you got to send me some, I want to try it. And um, hence the video, that's what we're doing today. We're trying Mike's product. Now, like I said, he's a drywaller. This is what he does for a living. He came up with the idea of instead of applying the drywall tape to the wall, to the drywall, what if you add the drywall tape to the joint compound? In essence, that's what's in this bag. Let me show you how it works. Here's our mud pan. I've mixed up the setting type joint compound thoroughly with the fibers from the bag. Now it's time to add our water. Okay, this is our repair area. We're going to coat it with one coat. We're going to let it set up and then we'll go back over it again. So let's see how this mud works. Okay, there you go. That's about how much I'm going to use. I'm going to just put it on here. I'm going to apply it like I would normally apply joint compound. And what I will tell you is this. The texture feels a little different. Um, but overall, it seems to cover pretty good. I'm just going to put a little bit more on. Just a little bit more on the top. And I think you have to press down on it harder than other joint compound, but it's, it doesn't lay down like regular joint compound. It's, it's a little more difficult to work with. We'll let it set up and we'll see how it finishes. Okay, our first coat has set up. Now I'm going to apply the second coat and hopefully, see I've got a lot of little dimples here. I'm hoping that I'll be able to lay these dimples down. It lays down very nicely the second time, but there are these little small particles in it. So I've applied my second coat. You can see these little cat faces here. These are imperfections in the mud. You're going to have that until you sand. So my patch is dry. Now I'm going to do a light sand on it and we're going to see what we're left with. So here are my takeaways about tape and mud. The positives are this. You only have to apply two coats. You don't have to be concerned with a third coat or a fourth coat. So it saves time. The other positive is, well, you don't have to worry about tape. And you know, paper tape can blister on you. It can bubble up. So that's one last thing that you have to be concerned with. Now the issues that I had were a couple. I found that I was very, very sensitive to the material, so I had to wear a mask in mixing up the product and in terms of sanding. But you know when you sand joint compound, you probably should wear a mask anyway. The other thing I noticed was there was a little bit of a learning curve. It wasn't that easy for me. I, I struggled a little bit 
It wasn't like normal joint compound that you would mix up and use. It was a little, the consistency was a little different. So there was a bit of a challenge there. But I'm sure with practice, I would get to the point where I would be able to lay it down very, very nicely. So those are my takeaways. I'm going to leave a link in the description below so you can check out Mike's product for yourself. This is Leah saying you can do this and be safe out there. See you next time.